There we go. Hang on. Good. I think we're good. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let me just tell you a little bit more about this. So um, there's a lot of considerations for this, and you guys stop me if we get close to time, and then we can maybe take some questions. Um, when you talk about post-consumer drywall, you're talking, technically you're talking contamination, right? But you're talking about stuff that has paint on it. You guys know this. Paint on it, um, adhesives on it, mortar on it, joint compound, da, 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 on down the line. So there's a lot of concern about asbestos, always. There's some concern about lead-based paint. There's concern about certain metals. You start grinding that stuff. Um, now you're talking about, you know, air permits and particulates and VOCs and not so much VOCs because everything's cured. Um, so we're working really intensely with CDPHE with um, environmental attorneys from Vestas. Uh, it's a big process. So this is not something you just run off and, you know, don't just start crushing up drywall and throwing it in an extruder, not a good idea. Um, and so that's where we are, but we've actually got it figured out. It's just, it's just doing it. Um, we are going to start at Vestas with uh, new build scrap, uh, scrap. And the reason being is we want to get our legs under us. We want to keep everybody safe. We're investing in a huge protocol, testing protocol. Um, we will not take any drywall from anywhere uh, that doesn't go through this rigorous testing process. Um, is, you know, some SDS sheets for drywall uh, say less than 1% is acceptable for asbestos and some other things, but our threshold is zero. Um, our tolerance is zero, no asbestos at all. So the, the um, drywall, even the new scrap or the, or the demo, as I call it, will be site tested and tested a few times and not just batch tested uh, before it ever gets to us. In the first year, 5280 waste will be the only hauler that we'll take material from. Obviously, it's probably for obvious reasons um, because we can control that, right? We can control the jobs it comes from. We can control that we don't get a, you know, an inadvertent load that was supposed to be tested and it wasn't. And so um, there's a lot to this, but I would say that we are 70% down the football field, so to speak, uh, with the, the, the goal line being getting the production facility up and going. 